Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today is a special Christmas edition. Most people have heard the song The Twelve Days of Christmas before. Basically, the whole song is the true love, giving out many gifts for 12 days. Some of these gifts are different kinds of birds. All these types of birds are what we're going to be covering in this video from Bird Nerd. The song tells of a partridge in a pear tree, two turtle doves, three French hens, four calling birds, six geese a laying, and seven swans a swimming. We have a lot of birds to cover, so let's get started. The first bird the song sings about is a partridge. Gray partridges are found in Europe, Western Asia, and were introduced in North America in the 1790s because they were such a popular game animal. They inhabit agricultural fields and grasslands. In winter, when the ground is snowy, they also forage in woods. They are chicken-shaped birds, which are relatively plump. Their feathers are mostly gray with an orangish face and stripes down their sides. Both genders of the bird have a dark, rust-colored patch on their chest, although the male's patch is larger. Gray partridges consume greens and seeds that they pick off from the ground. Seeds that they consume include corn, barley, foxtail, ragweed, and oats. Gray partridges also sometimes eat insects. They nest on the ground or along roads. The female partridges dig a small depression into the ground and line it with grasses. After the nest is made, the females lay about 10 to 22 eggs, which are incubated for about 21 days. The baby's eyes are open and covered in down after they hatch. They are ready to leave the nest soon. Gray partridges are skittish birds and are spotted mostly at dawn and dusk. The second birds mentioned in the song are turtle doves. Although you probably won't be getting a European turtle dove as a Christmas present, they are still fun to learn about. A fun fact about these is that they were said to be the sacred bird of the Greek goddess of agriculture, Demeter. Turtle doves inhabit Europe, hence their name, and some of North Africa. They are members of the pigeon family. The turtle dove is smaller than other doves. It is a brownish color with a black and white striped patch on the side of its neck. They don't like to eat insects and prefer to eat su seeds such as millet, sunflower, or canola. They also sometimes consume gravel or sand to help with digestion. The male turtle doves, when trying to mate with a female, will put on a display by puffing up and bobbing around and making noises, which some people mistake for owls. They prefer to nest in the branches of trees, but if no sufficient trees are available, they will nest on the ground. Female turtle doves lay about one to two pure white eggs, which are incubated by both birds. Turtle doves' conservation status is unfortunately in the threatened category. These interesting birds are a symbol of love and innocence. The third birds in the song are French hens. The French hens are referring to the Faverolles chicken. They are a French breed of chicken developed in 1860 named after the village of Faverolles. These birds were originally bred for meat and eggs but are now mostly bred only for show. The most common coloration is salmon which is exclusively found in the Faverolles chicken. In this coloration the feathers of the salmon females are mainly brown and cream colored but the salmon males are darker with a black, brown, and buff plumage. Other colorations include black, splash, white, cuckoo, and blue. These chickens are known for being very docile and get along well with other breeds of chickens. The hens lay about four eggs per week. The eggs are a pinkish or light brown color. Favorals are beautiful, distinctive birds. Let's move on to the next birds. The fourth birds in the song are four calling birds, although the lyrics have become muddled throughout time. The words were originally four collie birds, Kali means to blacken with soot, so therefore the song is referring to some kind of black colored bird. It could be a crow, raven, or a blackbird. The most common blackbird that is referred to as the bird from the song is simply a common blackbird. The common blackbird, also called the Eurasian blackbird, or simply blackbird to keep from confusing them with other species. They are mainly found in Europe and were introduced to Australia and New Zealand in the 1850s. Male common blackbirds have a glossy jet black plumage with a yellow eye ring and an orangish bill. The females are a sooty brown with a dull bill and whitish brown throat. They eat a wide range of insects, amphibians, lizards, and berries. Common blackbirds mainly feed on the ground, finding insects by sight, and they also dig in leaf piles to find other insects and tasty snacks. They will also sit in bushes and consume berries and bush-dwelling insects. The fruit that they eat depends on what is available locally. 
The common blackbird is monogamous, which means they, the pairs usually stay together for life. They build nests in the low parts of trees or bushes, well hidden from predators. The female then lays three to four greenish eggs, which are incubated for 12 to 14 days before the chicks hatch. Common blackbirds are widespread and their conservation status is low concern. The sixth birds mentioned in the song are six geese laying. Since most of the birds in the song are mainly found in Europe, I would assume the geese should be native to there as well. The gray-legged geese are the birds most commonly referred to as the geese from the song. They are normally found in the UK and Europe, in ponds and marshes. They are said to be the ancestors of all occidental domestic geese species. Gray-legged geese are one of the bulkiest and largest of geese. They have a thick body with a long neck topped with a large head and an orange or pink bill. Their legs and feet are normally a pinkish color. Its plumage is a grayish brown with a darker head and pallor belly. Usually, they only consume grass, berries, and water plants such as duckweed. They have also been known to consume oats, barley, wheat, peas, and root vegetables. Sometimes they will stray from their usual diet and consume small fish or insects. Gray leg geese nest on the ground among shrubs and reeds, or they will sometimes construct their nests on a raft of floating vegetation. How cool is that? Typically, they will lay about four to six creamy white eggs, which are incubated by the female for about 28 days while the male stands guard. Gray leg geese conservation status is of low concern. The seventh and last bird gift given in the song is seven swans of swimming. Mute swans are the elegant birds that are talked about in this song. They are found mostly in Europe, and a very slight few are found in the United States. They can be found in aquatic habitats such as ponds or lakes. Mainly, they consume aquatic vegetation, as well as some animal prey such as frogs or snails. They have a huge ab appetite and eat nearly 8 pounds of aquatic plants a day! Mute swans will also consume feed given by humans such as bread, cracked corn, or even produce waste. To nest, firstly the male mute swans select many nest sites and even start a few nests before the female selects the location. Nest sites should be near water but far enough away from the, from the edge that it is safe from flooding. It should also have ample nesting material and food sources nearby. Once a nest site is selected, the female and male work together to construct a large nest out of vegetation with a divot in the middle for the nesting swan. A finished nest often measures 5 feet across and 1.5 feet high. The construction of the nest usually takes about 10 days to complete. After a sufficient nest is constructed, the female will lay 1 to 5 bluish green eggs which change to a white color after they have been laid. They are then incubated for 34 to 41 days until a clumsy baby bird with eyes open covered in white or gray down hatches. These graceful birds are the last gift of the birds in 12 Days of Christmas song. I hope this video was interesting and introduced you to the birds in the 12 Days of Christmas song. If you celebrate, Merry Christmas and I hope you did not get a total of 184 birds like in the song. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time on Bird Nerd.